I wanted to do a pre-video for the YKT0 or the Yik Chem Transform uh, Zero training set because it needs a bit of explanation. I know I've done it in class, but I wanted to give this to you as a way to train it. This is uh, really, really important. Uh, we all train Kung Fu for different reasons, uh, but Kung Fu should provide us with physical health uh, through exercise and training, mental health. Uh, through, again, the focus of training, but also through esprit de corps, uh, you know, working with our buddies, having that camaraderie, and then self-defense. But the Yit Kem Transform is primarily focused on developing physical and mental health, but also by uh, keeping awareness of the body as we do the exercises, it also is going to open up a whole level of training of the Kung Fu. Uh, it's very subtle and you may not notice it right away, but if you start training it now, it will make a big difference in the long run in your training, okay? Uh, Yik Kem Transform Zero is what we would consider a Qigong exercise. Uh, qi meaning life or breath and gong skill, so it's a, it's a health or a breath skill exercise. Now, when we train this one in particular, it's not a calisthenic. You're not trying to do anything. Rather, you're allowing your body uh, to get into a space where it moves and acts naturally and where the mind is just there to observe what's going on. Uh, we can break it down into four areas that we want to pay attention to while we're training. Body, mind, breath, and chi. Uh, the key for the body is just to have it open and relaxed. Imagine between each joint there's a bag of fluid. It's neither 100% full nor is it 100% empty where the bones are sitting on top of each other. Rather, you know, it occupies that, that middle ground of halfway inflated, halfway empty. And as we move the joints, uh, they glide across each other. Uh, just imagine two smooth objects being rubbed together. There's no friction. There's no mechanical movement. Rather, it's just a very soft, constant motion, but really just focus on the keyword open and relax when we think about what we're doing with the body, okay? Uh, this will also introduce the concept of the seven bows or the seven main joints that we're going to be working with, and then additionally I'll talk about the spine. Uh, the foot bow or the bridge, of the, uh, the bridge of the foot is the first bow. It comes in contact with the ground and it's, uh, the type of contact is is soft and subtle, but almost like uh, the palm, palming a basketball. It's just sort of holding on to it gently. Uh, the ankle is soft and mobile. The knees are just slightly bent. Uh, so if we were to lock them out at 100% extension and then just soften them to the point where uh, they felt relaxed, but not so much that we were bending them extra, that's ideal. The hip is slightly tucked under and relax. And the way you can get there is pull the hips in together and tuck them forward hard until everything is tightened up. Then allow the hips to naturally expand laterally and just soften that, that lower abdominal contraction until you feel the tension go out. That's a very good position for the hips. The spine should be tall and lengthened, but we're not trying to stand up like we're in the military. Um, the shoulders are back, they're scapularly retracted, but again, we're not pulling them back like we're standing at attention. Once we've lengthened the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the head, then we then soften the shoulders just gently. We let the head come forward until the chin could rest on our fist and the fist on our chest. And this soft triangle gives us a very ideal posture that's neither slouching nor the, uh, the extreme of standing at attention, okay? Uh, the elbows are kept soft, we never lock them out, we never close them all the way, and we're never using uh, the muscles of the upper or lower arm for anything other than that soft gliding motion. The same for the wrist and even when we do the finger exercises. Uh, 
everything is is just soft. We're never pinching or biting or, or clasping hard like we're doing a, a hard qigong or a calisthenic exercise. Um, the next topic is the mind. The key word for the mind is awareness. Uh, as I've been practicing this, the, uh, the concept or the idea that comes to mind is imagine you're in the house and you're listening to uh, a bird song or children playing down the street. Uh, you don't have to strain to hear them, but you do have to kind of stop everything else, everything else you're doing and listen. And so as we do this Yit Kam Transform Zero, and you're moving the body in the exercises, you just want the mind to be quiet and aware. Uh, if you catch it doing something else, don't admonish it, don't judge it just come back to that awareness of the body. If you feel tension in the body, slow or stop the exercise and relax that area until it feels that neutral, relaxed position again and then go back into the exercises you're doing. Uh, breath should be natural. Okay? A baby breathes naturally into his lower abdomen. That's where we want to breathe. Uh, but a baby doesn't think about breathing into the lower abdomen or breathing you know, in and out on any specific rhythm. So what I'd like you guys to do is just put the tip of your tongue on the, to on the roof of your mouth very gently. You're going to breathe in and out of the nose and breathe into the lower abdomen without trying to draw the breath there or without trying to push it out. Uh, don't breathe slower than normal or faster than normal. Uh, you never want to be struggling for breath or panting. Your breath should make no noise at all. So it should be a very natural inhale and a natural exhale. Very good. Um, the last part is chi flow. Uh, chi can be sort of a, a ethereal sort of idea, but just think about chi as bioelectric and biochemical energy. And think of it as nerve and blood flow in the body. So if my body is open, relaxed, my mind is aware and my breath is natural, then there's nothing to stop chi flow. So the hand in this position is very natural. It has good circulation, uh, has good nerve conduction. But if I pinch the wrist, if I harden the fingers or straighten the fingers uh, and hold it for an extended period of time, it cuts off the natural flow. That natural flow is what we're trying to uh, achieve in the idea of, of moving chi and blood through the body is that nowhere are the joints impinged, are they pinching, are muscles so tense or even so relaxed that uh, they inhibit natural function of the body. So that's really uh, the important concepts to keep in mind, right? The body is open, the mind is aware, the breath is natural, and so then the chi can flow naturally.